Hey guys, Trifford Bridge Day. Today we're back with Fruit Baskets episode 11. So, after last episode's intense um, conflict between Akito and Toru, um, we learned we have, we learned that um, Akito is God, devil, devil, she's definitely the devil. She, hold, she holds like th all their fates around her. Uh, <coughs> all her fate, Akito has all the fates around her of every member of the Zodiac. Um, Going deeper and deeper with the family law, so we're actually starting to learn a lot more about the curse. Things are starting to get unraveled. We've still got Rin to deal, to learn more about. And then Akito, I think, was meant to meet some woman that she doesn't seem to be too happy about. Um, she seems to have quite a scented name with quite a lot of hatred behind it. So she said that woman. So I think I believe that's what she said. It's been a week. Um, so I'm curious to learn more about that character. Yeah, I'm curious to see where some of the character relationships are going to go. I think, yeah, and how Toru is going to process all of this i think like she's gonna stay is it's toru i think she's gonna stay strong um she's great i fucking love her she's I, she's an absolute she's a boss she dealt with it pretty well to be fair and yeah i'm just gonna see love see how this keeps, story keeps progressing but it feels like now we're definitely shifting into the second half um i think one more maybe one more episode to go over in a bit and then yeah the second half of the story is probably gonna kick off but overall fantastic a lot of shit moments between kyo and toru so my heart is filled i love we've got some shipping moments that's some of the stuff i enjoy most about the series because obviously I'm, I'm a romance i love a romance so when I, when i get a bit of it man's happy and i do you know what i can do with some more but we sort of got at the moment we've sort of got a sad reality coming in and it's going to probably keep building towards that and see how we can divert it but yeah other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed the reaction if you did leave a like subscribe he really made himself at home looks like terry's about to get a clean and get up on yeah he fucking was he made himself at home that's called plot build up Which is nice to see Fruit Basket has that it has the built it has built this plot over the time. <laughs> why did the, how did the conversation lead to that? <laughs> oh, when the boys unite under the same angry banner. Your yeah, boy! I love how Toru is resolves. Just, just, just hardened. I like how much she's come to care for everyone. That's a nice way of describing it, because obviously we feel like the outsiders when we're watching it, but yeah, it's a bit different for them. Your yeah, boy! That's what I like to hear. Yeah. She's top. I love Toru. I never expected to love her so much as I do now as the show's gone on. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> she never changes though. I didn't want <laughs> We got a safe coat from confinement. Just so they can be together. That's my goal. <laughs> I love Master. Master's the top geese. Fruit baskets just throwing out the bangers today. Ah, okay. That's cute. I love how they're just giving meaning to every line now. More, more meaning. I still don't like her. I don't think I ever will. Oh shit! Oh, attitude. <laughs> Best liar in the show. <laughs> Change subject. 
場で出かけるから飯いらねえはいデートアドバイホーズエーゼンスデレイまったくデートする暇あってもホンダさんを迎えに行く暇はないのかあきれたそれとこれは関係ねえだろう<laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, that disgusted look. <laughs> just, oh, don't trick me with happiness because we know this is just going to end bad if it keeps going this way. Whoa! Someone's looking on point. Mum whipping out that black shirt with the unbutton. Could we just swap her out for Teru and it'll just be like the best episode ever? Look at these growing up. Maybe because you kept hitting him, love. That's probably why I didn't want to talk to you before. At least, at least, one thing I will give her, like, at least she's showing him some attention when no one else was. Oh, don't hit me with that smile. Oh, the facial expressions done so well. And she ran. Did the opposite to Terry. Yeah, she was a kid. But he did not. <laughs> At least they're giving more behind the thought process. And I do like the scene, Lavin. Oh, Terry's <laughs> I was gonna say thanks, innit? I was happy you played with me. I, I thought that because it was like, even if attentions weren't pure, no, everyone else ignored him completely. Oh, Nailing with the music again. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. God, I love Kyo. Fuck. Ooh. This is a very sad scene. <laughs> this is not a character I don't care for. Interesting. Ah, oh, God damn, I love him. Thanks. God damn. <laughs> that was a good scene. <laughs> hmm. Um, bit Terry died. Say, I don't. Ah, uh, that's interesting. 
Well, I never expected them to do this to have a scene like that. Hey, better late than never. Just as I like Yuki's brother reflected on his what he, his actions. I think Kyo is honestly got to be one of my favourite. Like main characters from a lack of romance sort of anime. I love, I think its character is fantastic. It's got a lot of depth to it with the backstory background. Um, they don't try and foc like focus too over over show his past and show how suddenly it suddenly his. It just shows moments like that where it just show like even like I say even if attention's like I say I don't like her character because of the all the because of the fact that she used to hit Kyo all the time for no reason. She sort of had that sort of personality type I just didn't like. To all make that scene so fucking good is just props to the show. The way they did the emotion and the expressions on the character faces was on point. Um, I love how it's her sort of confronting that, and then Kyo like I love Kyo's responses. Responses is like he doesn't. He just told her straight that like, I will never love you, but he doesn't hate her. But you know he doesn't hate her for the. Well, it's not because of those things that she did. It, at the end of the day, it was someone who gave him attention, even if it wasn't the best kind of attention, compared to before when no one would even approach him, even if it was just her reason, her, her weird reasonings. But I love how like the at first it seemed cutie, and then it showed her eye expressions, and I started to go into her actual thought process, and it just changes that whole dynamic of the scene when um, she goes to ask him to play. And I find that interesting what to do with the eyes in the show. It's a really good way they express the emotions. Kyo's response and voice acting for when he says, "I won't." I would ever like love you basically that was brutal <laughs> like hit it hit me even though i don't i, I have no ship or thing i i am kyo so real all the way but i could still be like fucking hell that would hurt and then i really like the fact that she was trying to hide the hurt but i'm like i should just let it go and then cried and then kyo, kyo couldn't for the still um and like i said that thanks the thank the way the, the voice acted and just the dialogue and is done it doesn't it's not cheesy at all. Like it's generally well done in just the way it's just short. Like thanks. Like that's got so much more impact. Um, I think every line Kyo said in that like scene <coughs> hit hard. It was like quite high impact. Uh, along with really enjoyed the Toru stuff at the start. I love the fact that she's not going to give up. She's going to keep trying. All we need now is a Toru Kyo date episode, and then this show will be perfect. Um, but no, that was a really good scene. Also. Why does Kyo just always look on point? <laughs> like my guy, you know, it makes unbuttoned shirts look good. Um, again, animation on him and just a sort of sad expression he had. Like, I don't know. The expressions in the show are really good. I don't think a lot. Not too many shows utilize it as well as this. I've seen that like, some have done it better, some have done it work. Some have done it better. I've watched shows where I've done the expression expression. Where I don't know. It really hits and it really well done on this. And then just seeing like how, how Kyo's mannerisms have improved since season one, how much he's changed. It really came full force in this episode when you're watching him and how he's reacting and what he's saying, what he's saying, what he's saying to it and stuff like that. It's like, he's grown up. And I, I, and it was also a sort of sad reality that he knows what's coming for his future and I wonder if he's going to complete those still holds on to some hope. Um, and that's the more we learn about the characters, the sadder the situation gets. Like, I, even though like I said, big fan of her i'm glad we got a bit more backstory on there that like, i didn't really expect that this episode and i'm kind of glad it went into it um overall very solid episode music again god tier and um, overall fruit basket season two i'm loving every moment of it it's really showing how far our characters have come how things have changed the seriousness the building up of plot points the lack of cheesiness for shoujo anime like i've always i always live in my head that shoujo animes are very like over the top dramatic uh not much plot development just a lot of romance and Ooh, cuteness whereas i think fruit baskets really just take it has a show their elements but it's just got such a grown like a grown-up story to it as well with characters with great pasts great interactions it's not overly dramatic it's never mellow melodramatic it's got that perfect balance and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this reaction anyway guys if you didn't leave a like subscribe and hope to see you